in the 19 and 20s, inflation was a major problem in Germany or Deutschland because at the conference at Versailles, reparations of a very large amount had been demanded of the Germans after they were defeated in World War I. And unfortunately, they had very little money and very little ways of getting it, so that inflation uh, came about. They were printing money for which they had no basis whatsoever. There was no gold or silver behind it to back it up. So whenever they ran into difficulty, they just printed more money. And, of course, that leads to mass inflation. A couple of the uh, bank notes that I have here, or three of them, actually, one is for only 20 marks, another one for 1,000 marks, and then one for 100,000 marks. Inflation became so bad in Germany that a single postage stamp was 1 billion marks. And the postage stamps themselves were no longer being printed. What they were doing was just stamping a new amount on the old printed stamps. And that's what led to uh, Adolf Hitler gaining control. In 1933, he was elected. He, he did not become a dictator by accident or by taking over power or by a coup d'etat or any of that sort of thing. He was actually elected by the Germans, and he became chancellor, and then he became president, and then he became commander-in-chief. And that was what brought about World War II. They needed territory to expand in order to recover from the inflation. Uh, one of the stories they told about the bank, banknotes, was that a man had started down the street with a wheelbarrow load of marks to buy a loaf of bread. He stopped and went in to see a friend, left his uh, wheelbarrow on the street, and when he came back out, the money had been dumped into the street and they had stolen his wheelbarrow because the money was worth less than nothing. People were using it to paper the walls to keep out the wind. And that's, uh, in very brief words, the story of inflation in Germany and what brought on Nazi Germany.